welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified upon the hearing of my voice this morning we have a lot to give god thanks for so many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up today and are not numbered among the living so whatever your situation whatever your circumstances might be as long as you're breathing that's enough to give god thanks for today we want to give you an update as it relates to reggae artist Jacure and his mission in the Netherlands. As you'd all, under, you'd all know by now that he was in jail in Netherlands, the Dutch court. And he was there for an attempted manslaughter. But before we go into the Jackie story, I just want to tell you that if you need exclusive pictures and videos of whatever incident there might be, you might want to log, log on on our WhatsApp group and be a member of our WhatsApp group and know what's going on. The number is 876-892-2079. That's 876-892-2079. Seven nine. You can log on to our WhatsApp group and we have our discussion over there. But according to the Jamaica Gleaner, reggae artist Jack Yor has been sentenced to six years in prison in the Netherlands for attempted manslaughter. The sentence was handed down in a Dutch court a few minutes ago. Jack Yor, who was 43 years old, who was given him a Sikator Alcock, was charged in October in relation to a stabbing incident. He had faced up to 15 years in prison. In court, the regular artist had claimed self-defense, but the court of Amsterdam rejected, rejected his claim. According to his lawyer, press officer for the Netherlands Public Prosecution Service, although the claim of self-defense was rejected, the court found Jackie Warren not guilty of attempted murder. Last October, Jacure stabbed promoter Nicara Papa Blake in Dam Square in the Netherlands. During a public hearing on March 8, the prosecution said Jacure's action was premeditated and he had intended to cause wounding and harm to Blake. The stabbing followed an argument over money totaling 500,000 euros to the artist, owed to the artist by the promoter for a concert at which he performed. The prosecutor had asked that Jacure be sentenced to no fewer than eight years. This is not Jacure's first run in with the law. On April on April 26, nineteen ninety nine, he was convicted on two counts of illegal possession of firearm, rape and robber aggravation, for which he served eight of a fifteen year sentence. Jacure was released in 2007 and gained popularity for singles like Longing For and Reflections, released while he was in prison. In 2015, he was detained at a Port of Spain police station after being accused of taking payment for a performance which he was a no-show. His album The Cure was nominated for Best Reggae Album Grammy Award the following year. Now, Jackie has always been in the news for various reasons. We know his issues with his longtime baby mother, and we also saw a video that circulated on social media of him paying for sexual pleasures from some females, and it did not work out properly where Jackie was actually caught threatening these people. And Part of the problem we Jamaicans have is that whenever we go outside of Jamaica, it's a norm for us to behave a particular way in Jamaica. But when we leave Jamaica and go overseas, we continue that trend. Now, Jacquear is learning the hard way. It seems as if Jacquear enjoys being locked away or incarcerated because after that big incident in that sent him to prison in, in 1999, why would you want to find yourself in a situation like this again? And 
we can all made it clear that Jakur, some people say he's a Rasta, but I think he professed that he's not. Now, we all know Rasta to be loving, caring, and kind set of people. But based on Jakur's action these few years, I don't see any Rasta trait in Jakur. However, it could be said, he worked for his money and he should have been given his money. However, that's why most countries, if all, not all countries in the world, have laws. You find a problem with the promoter who you perform at a show and he did not want to pay you your money. Seek redress through the court or the legal ways. Stabbing this man and killing this man, you still would not get the money. We have too much of our entertainers who promote violence and they act in similar manner. Now, whatever Jakior condition might be, this might be it for his musical career. The Dutch penal system might not be like the Jamaican system who allows you to record music. These countries have stringent laws. And now, behind bars, for six years, you're away from your child, you're away from your country. Now, how many people in that lockup will you know? But that's the price you pay for not thinking properly. That's the price you pay when you're arrogant. That's the price you pay when you feel like you're bigger than the law. This matter could have easily well been solved if Jack Yor had brought his, brought his grows to the attention of the police or the judiciary in the Netherlands. But instead, he felt that he was bad enough and decided to pull a weapon and stab Nicardo Papa Blake and this name Nicardo Papa Blake I'm wondering if he has any association with Jamaica because in the in the Netherlands I hardly know of names like these but at the end of the day Jack Yor's lawyers if they are not satisfied with the ruling they can appeal within two weeks we don't know how that will go different jurisdiction different laws but whatever the situation is this is a big setback in the career of Secretary Alcock otherwise called Jack Cure one of his songs he said Babylon released the cure is this what you want Babylon to release the cure to do is this you want Babylon to release the cure to do I think you should take note of the first song you sang behind bars Behind these prison walls, which correct name is Reflections. Take the moment, Jack Yor, and reflect. You're not bigger than any law anywhere. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one, look out for the children, and most of all, keep it locked on my opinion TV.